Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are on my brand new island that I'm going to be starting a new series for and this island is called Bloom. I honestly don't know where I come up with a name for Bloom, I don't know, I just thought it was very pretty and it's very fitting for the theme I want to do for this island. So this island's theme was actually decided by you guys, you all voted in my poll and voted for the island that I will be building next and we're going to be doing a colourful Japanese inspired island so I'm super excited, I've never done a Japanese inspired island before so it's a first for me. Now before we get started with today's video though, I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe, come join the Jellybean family, now let's get talking about what I want to do with this island and let's build the entrance. First things first, I thought I'd show you my map. So here you go, here is the layout of my island Bloom. This is the map I chose. I think it's quite nice, you know, everything is kind of to the left. So resident services and the airports to the left, which I like. And as you can see, I've already started to get rid of some of the water terraforming that's here. I like to pretty much flatten most of the island before I start building. It just makes my life easier. So all the current villagers are here at the moment. I'm only gonna be keeping two of those. So I am gonna be keeping Shino and Gale because they will definitely be perfect for this island. And if you know me, you know I love my alligator villagers, so I definitely have to keep Gale and she's pink and she's cute and she's gonna fit in right at home on this island bloom. So anyway, let's get started with building the entrance. And while I'm building this, I'm just gonna talk over the top of it about what I plan to do for this island, maybe some of the villagers I want to have, and yeah, just generally talk about what I'm planning to do. So first things first though, we are building an angled bridge and I thought I'd just show you the layout there and I want this to lead over to resident services. Now 100% for sure I'm going to be using the Zen bridge because it's definitely going to be perfect. It's going to look so so beautiful here at the entrance. So that's what we're going to do, we just need to shape the pond realm. Now while we're doing that, I would like to discuss what I plan to do with this island. So my general idea for this island is to have a lot of natural areas, a lot of areas that look really pretty with flowers and areas to sit and have tea and food and things like that. That's the main idea, but I also want to add some fake buildings and some cute areas for the villagers to sit and yeah, basically just want to do a bit of, you know, a bit of building up, a bit of natural as well. And I'm hoping I can do both of those together and still make it look really nice and not too messy. So yeah, that's just the general idea anyway. For my first build on Bloom, I want to make this entrance a bit more natural looking and then maybe lead into some areas a little bit later on next to resident services where we can do some buildings and stuff. I'm not going to do any of the main big buildings in this video because like I said, this is the entrance build. We want to make this the entrance, the main impression you get when you first get off the airport into the island. Although I don't know why we do that or why I do that in fact. Because technically, if you want to go on the real entrance, the real entrance is resident services because that's where you wake up for the dream addresses and not actually the airport. The airport is only for people you're inviting over through dodo codes and stuff. So I don't know. Hmm. Actually, now I'm curious what everyone else does. So whenever you dream of an island or dream of someone else's island, do you like to start your tours at the airport so you purposely go and find it to start looking around? Or do you like to start resident services because you're not too fussed and you just like to look around the island anyway? I want to know what everyone else does now because I always run to the airport first and start my tour there and look around from there. So I feel like the entrance is the airport and not resident services. But I'm curious what everyone else does. Let me know in the comments. I really want to know. Now before we go and talk about any more of this island, I just want to mention that all the codes I'm using in today's video will be down in the description below once I get time to write them out. Hopefully I've written them out. If I haven't, please do just give me a few days because sometimes it does take a while to write all these out and make sure I've got all the codes right and find everyone's socials that I'm able to find. But yeah, if this has been a week, if this video has been out for a week, then the code should be down there. So yeah, enjoy those, use those on your island. Because we just need to talk about one thing though, this path code that has the cherry blossoms in it. It's absolutely stunning. It is made by Colin Crossing. It is beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. I love every colours of it. I love the little stones around the edge, the little blossom petal piles, everything. Everything is perfect. I love it. Also, I realised I didn't actually mention that this island will be set in cherry blossom season. Just because I haven't done a cherry blossom season island this year. I did one last year and I definitely wanted to do one this year. So I thought, you know what, what better way than to do it for this spring colourful Japanese inspired island. So let's go back to talking about what I also plan to do with this island. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of waterscaping. I feel like that's definitely a must to have 
that. I don't think I do a lot of waterscaping normally, so this should be interesting, should be fun. We're also probably going to do a lot of terraforming around to give the natural flow and a natural feel to this island in certain areas, so that'll be exciting too. And I think for the first time in a very, very long time, I'm not going to be having a road on this island. Now, I will be having a pathway. You can see me putting it down right now. This is basically the limit of what the pathway will be. Or maybe a few little extra stone pieces and stuff like that, but I'm not actually having a physical road. So this is going to be very interesting too, because if you know me, I think pretty much all my islands pretty much contain a road. I don't know why. I just feel like it's easier for me to structure an island around a road. So yeah. It's another challenge and I'm excited to be doing this challenge because I guess it's a challenge kind of, for me it is. Another thing I want to talk about this island is the colours I plan to use. So I plan to use white flowers, pink flowers and green flowers and now for those I'm going to be using lilies and mums and I think that's the only flowers I want to use on this island. And I have made a return of the wheat field item and this is just to give a little bit of different height in areas. I don't plan to overuse the wheat field like I do on most of my islands. It's just going to be scattered here and there just to give that little bit of height like I said and I love the wheat field and I can't resist. Also, I don't know if I'm going to use the green leaf piles. I'm definitely going to use the cherry blossom petal piles, which I love saying that word. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is at all, but that word just rolls off the tongue so perfect. Cherry blossom petal piles. Like, why is it so perfect? It is the perfect word. It is the perfect combination of words and you can't change my mind. <laughs> Another thing to discuss about this island, I guess, is the villages that I plan to have. Now, obviously, if any of you guys have any suggestions for villages, I'm always open. But I think I've decided my final lineup already. I know, crazy, not like me. Sometimes I don't even fully decide a lineup of villages I would like until like, the end of building an island sometimes. So yeah, I'm quite proud of myself for already deciding, kind of, I guess. Unless it changes, but hopefully it doesn't. So for my villages, I'm definitely going to keep Gale and Chino, like I said. I'm also thinking of having... Gladys, Pinky, and Pico, and also Custu, Custo, the frog, you know, the little yellow frog that reminds me of cheese. We're gonna have him, Marcel, Drago, Kabuki, and Wart Jr. Now, I just decided on these villagers because I thought they look so, so cute. I feel like they'll fit in with the color scheme perfectly, and I thought they were adorable. There you go, they're cute and adorable. That's the main reason, and I want them to live on this island. Also, I do need some inspiration actually for my Japanese inspired island. This is a theme I've never really done before and never even tried to tackle before. I think I did a build once when I did the Try Me build. I had a go at doing it and it came out kind of okay. It looks nothing like this did, so yeah, it's completely different. So if anyone has any dream addresses for Japanese-inspired islands that I could visit, I would really, really appreciate that. You could post them in the Discord if you like. So we do have a Discord, which you'll find the link in the description down below. I'd love to do some tours again. I don't know, shall I bring island tours back to the channel? How do you feel about that? Should we, should we do some island tours? Maybe? Maybe we'll do it? I don't know. We'll, we'll consider it later on. Over here, I've kind of made the illusion of a small little fake building, which I absolutely love how this has come out. I did change the colour of the storefronts because they were white at first. And I changed them to this other colour, which kind of has like a pinky shade to it. I don't know. It just feels like it fits better. So I do prefer the storefronts I've used for this. Now that we've decorated the front of that little building there, we're just going to do some more waterscaping. Now I want to make little islands for the waterscaping as I do it around this island just so I can add even more items more trees oh yeah and as for trees the only trees I'm going to be using are the bamboo and the hardwood tree I think it's called so not the big tall cedar trees I think that this is the best idea to use those I was maybe thinking of using the cedar trees maybe I'll use some further back of the island I don't know I haven't decided yet but for now in this area at the front we are only using the cherry blossom trees so the hardwood trees and the bamboo so I have a few more areas I want to fill in for the rest of this build and we're going to do this little area here. I've decided to pop down a Zen bench and we've got it customized with just a white simple design on it because I don't have any other designs yet. I need to download some more sort of blanket codes or quilt codes I think for this island but I'm not too sure yet. I haven't decided. Maybe I'll just use the Able Sister ones but I don't know which ones they've got that I would use because I don't have them yet for this island so I'll need to go and talk to the Able Sisters for sure. Now to finish decorating this little island we're just going to pop down a bamboo bench and we've also got some wheat field there and we've popped some flowers and bushes and a bamboo tree. Now I definitely wanted a little waterfall here so we've got a waterfall that you can actually see from the Zen bridge and I'm hoping it'll look really pretty we'll see when we go down there and then I've added this beautiful pine tree which I've always wanted to use that item and I never have so I'm very happy that it will look right at home on this island so I'm gonna be using that a lot as well so 
Look forward to seeing that item everywhere. So we just want to finish this build behind my house. I want to fill in this little area, add a little seating area with a place that you can stop and eat, I guess, somewhere just nice. It's kind of like a park, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call this, but I liked it. I thought it was quite cozy. Another thing I think I'm going to add around this island everywhere is some butterfly models and some bug models. I think they'll look so pretty and they'll definitely make the area feel a bit more natural as well. And I just like the colour they bring, to be honest. Like, look at this butterfly model. So beautiful. I love it but actually there we have it we finished the first ever build on my island bloom this entrance build so now it's time to have a look around what we've done today And there we have it, we finished the first ever build on my spring Japanese inspired colourful island and it was so much fun. I'm actually really happy with how this area came out and I'm very excited to build more and more on this island because I'm really enjoying it so far. Now if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jelly Bean family. I hope you have the loveliest of days and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!